Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library. This video will cover how to set up our nightly transaction sync program called QB Transaction Sync on Windows 7 and Windows 2008 servers. So the first step is to download the QB Transaction Sync program. It's actually a separate program and you can do that from our download install page on our website. Right? So go to qbsalesdata.com, click on the download install button, and down at the bottom there will be a separate program called QB Sales Data Transaction Sync. Note that this needs to run on a machine that has a QB Sales Data license, right? So if you want to run it on your server, you need to have a licensed copy of QB Sales Data on that machine. Once you download it and install it, you'll get a couple of icons on your desktop. One is the actual program that will run the sync, and another one is a configuration utility. So first you're going to go into configuration utility. So we can double click on that and we want to add, click on the add button to add an ACT database and a QuickBooks file. All right? So we can go out and browse for our ACT database that we want to uh, incorporate into the nightly sync. And I'll go do that. Okay, and then I'll have my username and password for ACT should be an admin user and secondly I'll browse for my company file now in QuickBooks you may not know where your company file is um, you can actually pull up QuickBooks and go to file open previous company and you need to use the same path that you use in QuickBooks right so if it's on the S drive or the T drive you need to use that same path in our program okay so in our case it's C users Don document so I'll go back to my config program and I'll browse out to the C drive and go to users Don, documents and I believe it's QB sales data demo files and there's my QuickBooks file okay now if you get this file in use right you may get that you actually have to close QuickBooks select the file again and now open QuickBooks before you hit save and note that you do have to be um, logged into QuickBooks as an administrator for this because we're gonna it's going to ask you to build a certificate so you need administrator privileges okay so I've if I get the file in use message I close out of QuickBooks selected the file now I opened it back up before I hit save one other note is we recommend setting this last sync days to 180. That gets tied back to um, payments that get applied to invoices. So 180 days is normally a good spread so you can cover payments that may be six months old. Uh, you can also check which transaction types you want to bring in each night. You can just check them all. That's the easiest. When I hit save, it should actually uh, prompt me for a certificate in QuickBooks and there we have that behind the scenes here so the first time that the program talks to QuickBooks it wants to create a certificate after you build the certificate you'll never have to do this again right so that's why we need to be logged in as an admin user click on yes select the admin user here hit continue say yes to the screen and then you're done okay note that that user that you picked um, for the certificate you need to make sure that if someone else logs in as that user during the day that they log out before they go home so that the nightly sync program is actually able to log in as that user so if if that person stays in QuickBooks as that user when the nightly sync program wants to log in at let's say one in the morning it's not going to be able to because someone else is logged in okay so when I hit save here it'll save it configuration saved I can hit exit and now my transaction sync is set to go All right so if I double clicked on this program right now it would actually run my transaction sync but I don't want to have to manually click on it I want to have it automatically run at let's say one in the morning so to do that I have to uh, Windows 2008 and Windows 7 and Windows Vista have a new task scheduler program so if I click on my start button and I go to all programs then I go to accessories system tools 
and then task scheduler. Okay, that'll bring up that task scheduler. When it comes up, it may be on this screen. Click on the task scheduler library right here. And then over in the right, you want to create a basic task. Create a basic task. It should prompt you with a wizard. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to say uh, QB sales data nightly sync. And I can hit next. And I want this to run daily. And let's have it run at 1 in the morning every day. Hit next. It's going to start a program. Hit next. And now we browse out. I'll click browse. And under the C drive, and program files. If you're on a 64-bit machine, it'll be under program files x386. I'll go to program files and they will be in EFF solutions QB batch sync. Double click on that and then you want this QB batch transaction.exe. That's what you want to run every night. Selected that, I hit next and now I can hit finish. And that is set. Note that there is kind of a, some flakiness to this task scheduler in Windows 7 and, and Windows 2008 server. Um, you do not want to set it to run when you're not logged in. This option here, run only when user is logged in, is the one that will get it to work. So the key here is you need to do a basic task and set run only when the user is logged in. Then at uh, if you want to test it, uh, let's say it's going to happen at 1 in the morning, but let's go ahead and run it now. I can right click on it and run and it actually will kick off that nightly sync program you'll see here that window will pop up at one in the morning and it'll go ahead and start syncing the customers you can see that here so that'll happen each night at one in the morning and that's it you've set up your nightly transaction sync